Give your next burger night a twist with cheeseburger quesadillas. These hot and cheesy quesadillas, complete with special sauce, are totally irresistible. Hey, it's Kristen from Iowa Girl Eats where we make easy gluten-free recipes using everyday ingredients. Now today we're gonna make one of my family's very favorite recipes for dinner, cheeseburger quesadillas. Now these are like a loaded cheeseburger in quesadilla form. Trust me when I tell you that it is a total upgrade to burger night. I'm gonna start by adding a pound of ground beef to a hot skillet and then just brown that up. I'll season it with homemade seasoned salt, which I'll include the ingredients for in the recipe below, plus pepper, then break it up as it cooks. These quesadillas are great for using up extra ground beef that you may have on hand, or you can just cook ground beef fresh like we're doing. Okay, our ground beef is cooked through, and mine's pretty lean so I don't need to drain it, but if yours is a little bit fattier, go ahead and drain it and then add it back into the hot skillet. Our ground beef has cooled slightly, so we're going to add ketchup and mustard next, and this kind of creates the meat filling for our quesadilla. I like to start with about two parts ketchup to one part mustard. We'll stir together the ketchup and the mustard with the meat, and I like this to be on the saucy side, so not necessarily soupy by any means, but a little bit saucy versus dry and crumbly. It tends to hold it better and stay inside the quesadilla better when it's a little bit saucy. And it already smells like a cheeseburger. All right, it's time to cook our quesadillas. So I have my flat top griddle here set to about medium heat. You could certainly use a skillet on the stove too. And I'm going to give it a spray with non-stick spray, just to make sure nothing sticks and give our quesadillas a nice golden glow. And then I'll place a tortilla down. Next we'll add some shredded cheddar cheese. What is a cheeseburger quesadilla without cheese? So I'll add a thin layer on the bottom, and this also helps um, all of our other toppings stick inside the quesadilla. Next, we're going to add our ground beef mixture that we made with the ketchup and mustard, and I'll add about a quarter of the mixture that we made. Honestly, sometimes it's just easier to use your fingers, so do what you gotta do. Now we'll add our favorite burger toppings, and for our family, that is minced white onion and chopped dill pickles, can confirm that crumbled cooked bacon is also amazing in here, but use whatever you and your family like best. The last thing we're going to add is another layer of shredded cheese, and this is going to act as glue, kind of, to keep the top tortilla stuck on top and make sure all those yummy toppings stay inside the quesadilla. We'll add a tortilla on top and then cook until the bottom side is golden brown, flip it, and then cook until the second side is golden brown. The bottom side of the quesadilla is golden brown, so we're gonna flip it, fingers crossed. Here we go. Nice. We'll cook the quesadilla until the bottom side is golden brown, and then transfer it to a cooling rack to cool for five to 10 minutes. If you try and cut into it too fast, then all the cheese and the fillings will melt out. While our cheeseburger quesadillas are cooling, we're going to make this special sauce. You cannot have a cheeseburger without special sauce, if you ask me anyway. So here in a small mixing bowl, I just have a regular mayonnaise. Then I'm going to add just a little bit of ketchup, a couple tablespoons. And then we'll add minced white onion. We have minced dill pickle. And a little bit of white vinegar. And we'll just give that a stir. And obviously this comes together in 30 seconds, but you can absolutely make this a few days ahead of time. It just gets better and better as it sits in the fridge. Our cheeseburger quesadilla has cooled slightly, so it's time to cut it into slices. I like to use a pizza cutter just to zip right through it. I cannot wait to dig into these quesadillas. They smell so good. So of course I've got to get into that nice special sauce and take a bite. These cheeseburger quesadillas truly taste like loaded cheeseburgers in a fun quesadilla form. I truly hope you'll give them a try.